Hello everyone, today I want to talk about a plugin that I created um, uh, just two days ago called the Custom Safe plugin. It is just a really simple plugin. Uh, it allows you to add different commands to uh, uh, when uh, to your save commands such that when you save your file, it will automatically run all these commands. And first, I need to talk about the rationale of me creating this uh, plugin. It is because uh, Obsidian actually doesn't expose an unsafe hook, uh, and that's why there there are no way to add uh, commands to your to there. There's no way to listen to your save events and then uh, add different uh, act uh, actions on it. Um, I noticed this issue in the Obsidian Linter plugin and, uh, and I also uh, files uh, a PR to fix it because I noticed that the Obsidian Linter, how it works is that it actually hijack the save command and then it actually break the save command when you run command when you hit command S it is actually not saving your file and I will demo you this so uh, I have a testing valve and then now I think I would just disable the linter right and then I reload it and then I, I add this uh, I add this. Uh, I run this script. So basically, is that when I mod, how what this script does is that when I run a uh, modify, it will console log. Okay, this file is modified, and I will show you what happens. So I run this command, and when I click save, you can see that uh, the the file is modified. At the same time, if you change something and you don't click save, it will also run. Uh, the mod it will also call console log modified uh, like after a while or uh, after a sec uh, some seconds but uh, what you see is that uh, this modified there uh, is actually delayed if I don't click save if I don't click save uh, command s manually the modify is actually delayed I will show I will show you right so uh, if I run here if I if I if I type something delay 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 right and if I click something delay 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 right but if I type something and I click commands s it will it will save immediately right save immediately save immediately save immediately save immediately and I can show you like even clear even more clearly by going to the going to this file this uh, main.js file. So basically, I, I go into the Obsidian linter main.js. Main How I found this file is that I go to the community plugin, I open here, and then I go to linter. Right, I go to linter. Where's linter? All right, I go to linter and then I click on this file. So basically, this is the main.js file. <clears throat> it is because of originally, uh this this line doesn't exist this line doesn't exist i add these lines uh in the pr and if if this line doesn't exist what it does is that it will uh like look for the editor save file command and then assign something else to it and then i assign run linter but you can see that on this function the save command is actually not run. So that's why like if I, let's say if I enable this line so that every time I click save, I hit save. <clears throat> every time I hit save, <clears throat> oh, uh, <clears throat> so every time I hit save, it will, it will console out that line. Right, you can see that user click save, but since I hijack it, save is not done. How I prove this is that I will run the command this this line again, this this statement again. So 
if I click save, it will it will not save. If I click save, you can see that it is not save. Instead, it will delay a bit, I guess. It oh actually it is not modified at all. Yeah, you can see that there is a delay, right? Because why the delay exists is that Obsidian actually doesn't save your file. The save is performed after a while. I'm I'm not sure if Obsidian have an interval to check whether the file is changed or not. And then yeah, you can see that it is not instant. It it has a delay. Delay, delay, delay. All right. Delay, delay, delay. All right. But what if I add this line save here? What if I add this line save here? And then I do the same thing. And now it should save. All right. You can see that the save is is almost uh, at the same time. It's basically at the same time. It, it should be at the same time. All right. Because when I now when I click save, it is no longer hijacked. It is no longer hijacked. Uh, but no, it is still hijacking. It's still hijacking. But I but I perform the save func but 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 I call the save command uh in in the hijack uh hijacking function. <clears throat> and that's why you can see that uh this uh file is modified, is console locked out. But I just feel like the command hijacking is not a good idea for for uh for a plugin because uh this can easily break uh this can easily break and there's no way to like and and then uh okay uh another issue is that right now we call uh, call save after runs linter editor, but actually we need to wrap this in the try catch block. Otherwise, if these functions fail, if the run uh, linter fail, actually it will not save because it will throw an error. And that's why that's why I think that hijacking the save command is not a good idea. So instead, I propose a better idea for the Obsidian linter. Uh, actually, I didn't uh, say it in this uh, in the in the PR because I just uh, come up with this afterward. It is like uh, five days later, no, five days ago, right? So uh, what I what I will do is that I will just uh, comment out all these lines such that uh, the plugin will be the same. So I didn't modify the plugin at all. It is just the uh, original linter command. Uh, what I do is that I create a custom save plugin that allow you to add different callbacks to this uh, custom save. So how do you use it? Is that I install the custom save plugin, and then. Uh, Basically, I can choose different commands here, and then I add it here. Let's say I, I, I can show show a demo. Like I, I will run the linter unless it is ignored, and then I click add. So you can see that it is add here, and then I go to the hotkey. I simply replace the original hotkey, and then I run and and then I put it. Uh, to the custom save, save command. So now, uh, what it what this uh, plugin does is just super simple. So basically, uh, it will go through all the uh, all the commands for each command that you add. It will call that. It will call that uh, command, and finally, call save. So, uh, this uh, this method actually ensure that actually ensure that every command will be run. So even if it is fail, because uh, this even if this fail, uh, this function will not block this function, right? 
and oh, what is what does it mean? Like even if it throw an error, even if it throw an error, it will still save, I guess. Oh no. I think like if it is throw an error, it will still not save. Maybe this is a bug. So like I I need I need to I need to uh update this. But uh yeah, you you get the general idea. You get the general idea. Like I just need to wrap this in a try catch block. So using this, but there's one benefit of using this idea is that I can basically add unlimited uh callbacks to this save command so uh i can i i can show you uh an example for example like now what's this run start free yeah you can see that this is uh added to the custom save this is added to the custom save. This is the run plugin. And then I also have tag breakdown generator. It will it will run, uh it will have this uh breakdown this tag for me. And then I also have this folder here. Oh actually I should disable this uh from matter Mod run or modified and then I can remove this folder and if I click save it will generate all these things for me so basically all these things are generated all these things are generated the original file is just something like this and then when I click save it will generate all these and then uh, yeah, you, you, you know the general idea I guess so basically I can I can add all these I can add all these commands to custom save and then don't need to worry about breaking the save uh the save command. Uh if you if you if you uh, if I run this statement here again and then I run you can see that the file is modified. It means that the file is saved. Yeah, I hope you learned something in this video and I hope that uh like it is just a utility hack. Um and I hope you like learn something in this video. If you like this video, please leave me a comment. Yeah. I will see you next time. Bye.